Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on ASP.NET 4.5 for King Faisal University students and for others who want to learn ASP.NET. This is part 4 in the series and is entitled Code Behind and Inline Code in ASP.NET 4.5. Code Behind refers to code for an ASP.NET web page or web form that is written in a separate class file that can have extension names of .aspx.cs or .aspx.bb depending on the language used. The presentation remains in a file with .aspx extension. This means that if we use code behind, we're going to come up with two files. On the other hand, inline code refers to code that is written inside an ASP.NET web page or web form that has an extension name of .aspx. This means that we're going to produce only one file. We will do only one activity for this tutorial. And in this activity, we will create an ASP.NET website and place it in folder C colon backslash ASP backslash activity one. Then we will create an ASP.NET web form with file name code behind that contains text box, label, and button objects. Using code behind, we will display the value of the text box in the label once the button is clicked. So to create our website project, you click File, New, Website. Make sure you selected C Sharp and it's ASP.NET Empty Website. And in the folder, we have to type ASP in Drive C backslash Activity 1. And you can click OK. I'll try to dock my uh, solution explorer and also my properties window. So we will create now our first web form. We'll right click our website, add, add new item. Make sure it's web form. And the name of this web form is code behind. Make sure that the checkbox is checked on place code in separate file. This means that we're going to use code behind. Unchecking it means you're going to use inline code. And click add button. Let's proceed to the design. We'll make it simple for now. So I'll just type this uh, uses code behind. And then we will either drag or double click the text box object I double clicked I will press enter key to separate them to add the label object again and enter key for the button so now we have three objects on our web form the button named button one label named label one or you can see it from here and text box named text box one so idea is that once we click the button whatever is inside the text box will appear on label you can go to the event for that button using this event icon once you selected the button object or simply double click the button now notice that another file was produced that that aspx.cs and the presentation remains here, that dot ASPX. So let's go back to that CS. Here we have that click method automatically generated for us. So what are we going to do here? We'll change the content of label one dot text property equal to what's whatever is in the text property of text box, text box one dot text that's it let's try to run it and open it in our explorer or i mean browser this uses code behind let's type kfu and click the button kfu appeared also in the label to differentiate inline code from code behind we're going to continue with our activity doing the same things as the other form, but this time we're going to use inline code. So the file name is inline code. So to create a new web form, right click activity one, the name of our website, add, add new item, web form, C sharp. 
the file name is inline code this time don't check the checkbox then click add let's go back to the design we will do the same things i just want you to notify that this uh, uses inline code let's add a text box a label and a button now if we double click this we're going to create an event for the button object correct but unlike the first one it did not produce another file it remained in the presentation file the .aspx file so this is our procedure and this is our method declaration we will do the same thing label one dot text is equal to text box one dot text and don't forget the semicolon let's try to open it in the browser control f5 so this uses inline code let's try to put welcome to kfu and click button welcome to kfu the last web form for this activity is called default and it will provide links to the two web forms that we just finished and we're going to use table to format this web forms or this links okay let's right click activity one add add new item web form visual so sharp the name is already correct make sure that the checkbox for place code is checked click add let's go to the design we're going to use table so we'll insert table let's make it maybe around five rows and three columns click ok uh, the first row let's try to merge it select and modify merge cells let's make the, the text centered and let's change the size to extra large this activity differentiates code behind from inline code okay and then in the next cell below it let's try uh, using code behind and below it using inline code okay so let's make the links select the first set of text using code behind and in the format toolbar you will see this icon convert to hyperlink click it you can either provide the url or the address or if you want our local web forms click browse and there code behind that aspx click ok the same thing we will do with our using inline code click browse inline code double click ok one thing i want also to take note uh, in this tutorial is that like other microsoft application if you type an address of a website like google.com and you press the enter key it automatically makes the link okay let's run it now in our browser control f5 okay this is our default this is our default web form using code behind there using inline code there okay so we just finished differentiating code behind from inline code uh congratulations and thank you for watching this video mas salamat